Hey guys, so today I have my iPhone 5S uh, and then my iPhone 5C uh, and then we do have the iPhone 5, we have the iPhone 4S and we do have my iPhone 4 all running iOS 7.0.2 which is the latest version of iOS at the moment so used to check out that, I mean so we can make it clear here uh, what kind of devices this is if someone is saying oh there wasn't that device, it's wrong device well okay first off Let's start off here uh, by checking them out. So, um, start off with this one. We do have the touch ID sensor. Okay. And then we do have my plastic iPhone 5C. And then we do have the iPhone 4. No. no. Oh my god. I'm going to get hate in the comments from that. But this is the iPhone 5. Don't, doesn't have this um, sensor, the fingerprint sensor touch ID sensor and then this is the 4s you can see it right here 1387 great stuff and then we do have the iPhone 4 1332 okay let's take a look at also so they're running the same OS Let's just go into general, 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 software updates, bam, bam, bam. Um, I was 7.0.2, Great stuffs. So let's uh, go and close all the apps also in the background great just want no one to be able to complain later on so they all run the same operating system, okay? Latest version. Let's open up Geekbench app here, which is Geekbench 3, which is latest version of Geekbench. Well, he's firing it up here. It's a ton of apps, ton of phones as well. Uh, so um, here uh, on the latest, okay, let's start off here uh, with the old iPhone first, the iPhone 4. Uh, it's having uh, an Apple A4 chipset, it clocks at 800 megahertz, a single core, uh, 500 megabytes of RAM. Uh, then we do have the iPhone 4S, which is kind of like the, an iPhone 4, but with an extra processor or extra core. So it, they're calling it Apple A5, same uh, uh, clock speed here, 800 megahertz, but one extra core, 500 megabytes, so same amount of RAM there, iPhone 4S. Uh, and then we do have the iPhone 5, which bumps up the RAM there to one gigabyte. Uh, and also the processor uh, is now higher clocked as well. Still dual core, 1.3 gigahertz uh, dual core, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then we do have these two new bad boys here, which has also one gigabyte of RAM. Pretty interesting here. We actually get more RAM, it seems, in the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C than what we do get in the iPhone 5S, which only has one gigabyte, 1000, exactly. Um, this one has a better processor as well, it should be 64-bit, both of these are stating ARM. This one is stating dual core 1.25 GHz though, and this one ARM 1.3 GHz. So, let's go and uh, do this, so start off here, run, 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 run. This may take some time, okay, because the iPhone 4 is probably going to take the longest time to do this. Still pretty cool uh, to do this video. Okay, that one did fit. Wow, the iPhone 5S is a quick, quick boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is some speed. Okay. 
And now we just have to wait for these other boys to pop up. Okay, interesting, the iPhone 5. Uh, okay, that, I did start that one a little bit earlier, but you can see here, iPhone 5C is getting a little bit behind the iPhone 5, even though they should kind of have the same specs. Interesting. 1305. Now we have to wait here for uh, another, we have one more dual core device here we're waiting for and then of course the iPhone 4 which is probably going to have to struggle uh, but you can see some pretty interesting stuff here that uh, there's a big difference between the iPhone 5 and the 5C which should have the same amount of specs but this one is plastic, this one is a little bit more expensive bill. Uh, 1305 in multi-core score, 2554, almost, almost almost dual the score, uh, same goes with the single core score, they are kind of like almost dual core, they are, or it is dual, uh, the power that you do get in the, the iPhone 5, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice, that's a pretty nice uh, stuffs, and we just gotta wait now, <laughs> we just gotta wait, we gotta wait for those other phones. Okay, now we're getting the score here uh, of the iPhone 4S, and you can really see Apple do improve at the performance a lot, or the CPU and everything inside. I mean, 218, this one is like <laughs> tripling that score. <laughs> wow. <coughs> it really is a big difference between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> no, I triple the score here. Triple the score higher. Uh, that's uh, put it into last time and we really gotta wait here for <laughs> the little single single core boy oh poor boy poor baby <laughs> yeah <laughs> gotta wait we gotta wait we gotta wait we gotta wait <laughs> Now we gotta wait. It's, it's really, it's a big difference also between the 4S and the iPhone 4 in terms of speed. And there we go. So this one is as an iPhone 4S. The, the iPhone 4S is just quicker because that's an extra core and that really, really makes a difference. Even though the core itself is the same kind of speed as if it would only be one, but pretty interesting score, pretty interesting stuff here. Um, I love how you really see here uh, that Apple really do care and they do update the specs internals um, because there's a big difference between this one the iPhone 4 and the 4S. There's a super big difference between the 4S and the iPhone 5. And there's a big difference here also between 
the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C, which is kind of like the same phone, uh, but plastic and this one a little bit more premium maybe. But plastic is nice, it's some quality plastic. Um, I mean, twice the score here in the new baby here, uh, which is the iPhone 5S. If you did like this video, if you wanna see more videos like this, or if you have any suggestions about videos in the future, let me know about that, because I really do read a lot of comments and get to, uh, I do a lot of videos based on the comments. So uh, if you like my videos, you can also subscribe and see more awesome stuff in the future. So quickly look here at all of these iOS 7.0.2 devices, uh, which uh, if we talk about iPhones at least, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.